Conventional wisdom dictates that if you want to make a perfect omelet, you must use a nonstick pan like this. And there's no denying, a nonstick pan really helps when cooking something as sticky as eggs. But does that mean you can't cook an omelet in something like this? A stainless steel pan or an anodized aluminum one like this? Of course not. Today I'm going to show you how, plus I'll give you my foolproof ways to make a great omelet. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook. And yes, today we are making omelets. I love omelets. They are one of my go-to meals when I'm in a hurry. They're cheap, they're nutritious, and they're super versatile. You can fill them with meat, you can make vegetarian versions, they're gluten-free, they really check a whole lot of boxes. And most times when making omelets, a lot of people use a nonstick pan, and yes, those are great for it. But what if you don't have a nonstick pan or you just wanna be a rebel and use something else? That can certainly be done. So I'll start by showing you how to make one in a stainless steel pan. And no matter what pan you're gonna make your omelet in, it is important that it be really, really clean. And this is especially vital when you're using something that isn't nonstick. I guess that would be a non-nonstick pan. Does that make sense? Anyways, grab your pan and make sure it is really, really clean. Now, of course, omelets begin with eggs, so I'm gonna use two eggs for this omelet. So we'll just crack them into a bowl. Make sure to watch out for any shells that happen to get cracked into the bowl. It's not a big deal if it happens. It happens to us all. Just make sure you pick them out because nobody wants a crunchy shell in their omelet. So I've got a couple eggs. I'm gonna add a touch of cream here. This is just heavy whipping cream. You can also use milk. You can use low-fat milk. You can even use water if, um, if you're not using milk. That's just going to thin it out. I'm going to use a dash of salt and a little bit of black pepper. This is just going to help give uh, seasoning to the eggs and we're going to whisk. By the way, if you don't want black pepper flakes in your eggs, you can use white pepper. That's a great use for white pepper. And I did a whole episode on white pepper versus black pepper. I'll link to that in the description below. When a problem comes along, you must whisk it. Okay, so here's the big secret to making eggs in a non nonstick pan, and that is butter. Butter is going to help keep those eggs from sticking in the pan, and it's also gonna provide a lot of great flavor. Now, if you don't eat butter or you don't like butter, uh, you can use oil, but my preference definitely is butter. So we're gonna start by heating the pan over medium heat, and we're just gonna put a, a nice chunk of butter in. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon, just kinda of eyeball it. And we are just gonna put this in the pan and let it melt. So let this butter melt, but don't let it turn brown. We just wanna get it uh, nice and melty and kinda of bubbling. That's when you know it's gonna be ready for the eggs. And just be sure to coat the entire bottom of the pan. Okay, our butter is nice and melted. We've coated the bottom of our pan. Now we're just going to pour in the eggs. Now there's a lot of different ways you can cook an omelet. You know, you can flip it, you can uh, roll it, but I'm gonna show you my foolproof way. And the first thing starts by doing nothing. Just let these eggs set up. What you wanna do is you want these eggs to start solidifying around the edges. And once they start solidifying around the edges, then we can begin working. But just give them about 30 seconds to just kind of set up and make a nice foundation of that omelet deliciousness. Okay, the eggs are starting to firm up and here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a spatula, it can even be the same one you use to put the butter in the pan, and very carefully take it and go along the edge 
of the omelet and start to tip the pan. And what you're going to do is you're going to let the liquid uh, portion of the egg that isn't cooked kind of go over and underneath the portion that is cooked. Just like this. Just pour that uncooked portion of the egg right over the sides here so that it can cook too. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes and that's all it really takes to uh, cook an egg. Just, just a few minutes. It happens really, really fast. Once most of the eggs are cooked, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can make an omelet. You can flip it, you can roll it, you can do all these different things. You know, if, if you're working at a diner and you're making a thousand of these things a day, you're gonna be flipping these things, doing all, all this crazy stuff. But if you're new to making omelets, I don't want you to fail. And here's my foolproof way of making an omelet. And that is just to fold it right in half. So when almost all the egg is cooked on top, uh, this is where you could put in cheese or veggies or whatever filling you like. Uh, I actually like to put cheese on top of mine. But what I want you to do is once most of the egg is cooked, I want you to carefully take your spatula, use the pan to tip, and just kind of fold it in half just like this. And now we have a nice, beautiful crescent shaped omelet. And see what that butter did is in addition to helping it not stick into the pan, it also provided this nice, beautiful browning. Uh, that's called the Maillard reaction. And maybe I'll make a video someday on it because it's really awesome. So all we're gonna do now is just kind of let this cook through. Um, it's pretty much there. If you like your eggs firmer, then uh, you'll want to cook them uh, longer. If you like it a little more gooey inside, well, this is pretty much ready to go. Okay, now from here, all I'm gonna do is just kind of slide it onto an awaiting plate. And look at this, no sticking issues at all. There's no egg left behind. That's because we got this pan nice and hot. We used a good amount of butter, and now there is no sticking. Now from here, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. And because this egg is still nice and hot, it's gonna help that cheese melt. This is just a blend of cheeses here. And this is totally optional, but if you do it, it's gonna make you look like a rock star. And it's also going to uh, bring out the flavor even more of your omelet and make it look really nice. I've just got some uh, fresh chopped parsley here. Just take a little bit and just kind of sprinkle it right over your omelet. <laughs> We always learned in culinary school that you, you eat first with your eyes, and that's so true. Have you ever been to a restaurant and you know it, this plate of food comes to you and it looks so delicious and you just wanna eat it? Well, guess what? You just made that in your own kitchen. Here is a beautiful omelet that came together in just minutes. This looks absolutely delicious. Now I'll quickly show how to do the exact same thing, but using a different type of pan. This is an anodized aluminum. This is a Calphalon. I really enjoy this cookware. But again, when it comes to cooking eggs, sometimes people think that uh, eggs will stick to it. Again, not if you use this method. Here it goes. <laughs> are in and we're just doing the exact same method. We are just putting our spatula right on the edge of the omelet, lifting and pouring that uncooked portion of the egg right over the top of the cooked portion to let that reach the bottom of the pan and cook. Guys, this is an absolutely foolproof way of making an omelet. And see, because we use that butter, it just slides right around. Okay, and once again, we are at the point where most of the egg is cooked through. So I'm just gonna take my spatula and flop it on over. There we go. Just like that. And you know guys, if part of the egg falls apart, please don't sweat it. It's all gonna be eaten. It's all gonna be delicious. Just make sure it's nice and cooked through to your preference and you will be eating omelets in minutes. Let's see if I've still got it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we've killed the heat. We'll just kind of slide this out. And once again, look at that. No, no sticking right here. You know what's next, lunch. Omelets are great because really, I mean, you know, a lot of us eat them for breakfast, but there's no reason why you can't have them for lunch or dinner. They come together so quick. Mm. Fluffy, cheesy, perfectly seasoned, delicious. 
See, so if someone ever tells you that you can't make an omelet in a non nonstick pan, well, now you know how. Hey, I hope you try this out. My name is Chef Matt. This is I Wanna Cook. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad you are here. Until next time, I hope that you want to cook.